for the first time since police arrested him on child molestation charges. Indianapolis City County Councilor Jeff Miller is publicly acknowledging the case against him in an email he sent out just a few hours ago. Now, all of this comes after Miller actually showed up for last night's council meeting as the pressure continues to build for him to resign his seat. Our City Beat reporter Mary Mills has a look at the strong comments from the head of the Marion County Republican Party and what Miller himself is saying about his refusal to step down. Mary? Well, less than 24 hours after he sat here and just before 3 p.m. today, Miller sent an email to me and everyone else on his email list, including constituents, titled, Still Working For You. Now, he wrote, while he couldn't discuss details of the case or his non-guilty plea, he wanted to explain why he's staying right here on the council. He wrote, when I ran for council in 2011, it was for one reason only, to give a voice to those who felt they didn't have a voice. He went on to list the issues he's worked on and ended with, the only thing I love more than giving you a voice is being the father of my wonderful son, and so I look forward to continuing to pursue both of these passions to the best of my ability. Now, this comes after Miller attended, as we said, last night's council meeting, prompting new calls for him to resign. Today, Republican Party Chair Jim Merritt said Miller is no longer a member of the party, that Miller needs to step down, that it's in the best interest of his district. While Miller was removed from three council committees, he can't be forced off the council unless he's convicted of a felony or unable to perform the duties of office. And right now, neither apply. Still, Merritt says the legal process alone could drag on for more than a year, and it's already become a distraction. We hold our elected officials high, uh, and it would be it is correct for him to um, uh, take care of this personal situation, this crisis in his life, uh, his legal problems, and it, it's it, it it the right thing to do is to resign and um, and and figure out his life. And while Miller has been a popular, well-liked counselor, constituents are now among those saying it's time to step down. And tonight at six, we're going to tell you why one constituent is especially frustrated that Miller still sits on the council. John and Andrea. Mary, thank you.